Well, I got carried away, got started on this one. It's a 2008 Ridgeline. Backed into a mailbox. Just gouged it down the side. Put a nice little crease in it. This panel has been worked at least twice. You can see here it was uh, something impacted it on the side, I guess, and deformed this hole. And there's some rust here already. And uh, this has all been painted over, so I know this has been done down here, and I can tell up here has been done on top of that. And I think it was from a hailstorm uh, a few years ago over here. And he had the, had the whole top reworked. And they actually taped it off along this stripe. And you can see that edge. That edge of the clear is starting to come up. So there's not really enough room. There might be enough room to tape it at the bottom of the stripe, but I don't want to build it up real thick because you'll be able to see it right there at that angle. Looking down at the at a step in it if I put a step in the paint. So this this bodywork in here is not the best. You can kind of see a wave in it, which wouldn't have been caused from that. That was just a crease. So I may try to level that a little bit, but it's not the end of the world if I don't go into that. He just wants this fixed. And uh, I don't want to work around this stripe, so I'm probably going to have to just pull it off. And I'm pretty sure I can't match it, so we're going to have to pull it off the whole truck. And then just redo it with something else or either just leave it off. I'm not excited about having to paint over paint over a taped line in the clear here, but I'm gonna have to to do this the way I would have done, normally done it. I would just blend this whole panel up to here and going across, but this has been worked too, so I'm just gonna stop it in here. He said he's okay with that. We're trying to avoid painting painting all the way down. So I'm gonna just blend it in right in here. And after seeing this, that's probably the best way to go. Trucks appeared to be in better shape than this, but uh, I didn't get that good a look at it before we left it. So pull the stripe off, fix this, prime it, and then just blend that direction. And I'll just have to clear over all this. Nothing I can do about it. Um, planning on coming down into here and just taping along this little recessed corner. And since there's a convenient body line here, I may just bring it back in here with the with a soft edge come down that way that way I can at least blend down onto here and I may end up painting this together just so I can get a nice color match and, uh, and then I'll just clear all of it clear this entire panel and come all the way down to the bottom here just so it matches because I don't know if this how well this right here matched what was originally there so if that's off at all from the, the mix I got then it's gonna show at the bumper so I need to, I need to paint the bottom of the bumper at least blend it halfway down so that it so that it looks right and we're not going to go into anything else i just took the cap off here it drops in these slots and slides over and locks in and then one screw goes in the back and there's a little cover that pops off that access hole there and i just pulled these two these two 10 millimeter bolts out to get the tail light out and uh it's got that the tail light got scratched a little but he said he wasn't worried about that so I'm gonna go ahead and drop the uh, we'll drop the bumper down after I get this primed, and then we'll clean all behind there. And I'm gonna go ahead and wash this first so I can get started, and uh, then I'll I'll just wipe that out manually without the hose or anything, just with a wet rag. We'll get started on fixing this uh, this dent here. I'm gonna try to go in if I can with the PDR tool in there and push it out. That'll just save me some stud welding, and I won't have to go back and put any cavity wax in. If that'll work, then that'll be how I do it. If not, I'll put a stud in the crease all along there. I'll be back when I get something started. All right, bad news. They've got, he had told me this bumper had been replaced, but I wasn't sure if it was just the bumper or if it was impacted all the way down the side, but we've got body filler, at least up to here. I just ran the grinder across it, get all the paint out of the scratch and try to, try to V-groove it out real wide. And I'm going to go through here and pull this out a little bit with some studs. I got a little bit out with a PDR tool through this big hole. But there's something back behind here, I think, and it won't let me get access into this area. But you can see, hopefully you can see this. Right, right past the filler, you can see silver paint. I saw the original primer and uh, silver right behind that filler. So whoever did this, just put it straight on top of the paint. So to avoid pulling all this out, 
and redoing this entire panel I'm just gonna have to sand all this out and just just fill this area that I'm working on I'm not gonna get into re just redoing this entire quarter there's no telling what all is in it so uh, the primer is pretty thick so I've got a little bit of a trench running through here I'm gonna sand all this back and feather it real well till I get the scratch out then I'm just gonna have to wipe after I pull the pins I'm just gonna have to wipe this section and uh, maybe bring a little bit down in here to fill this in but I might be able to take a block and just flatten this out but I don't really want to go into that other filler I know there's filler in here because I can see some pinholes in it but right in there is low I'm trying to not make this turn into a nightmare I didn't know this was going to be the case until I got the truck just a few minutes ago and honestly I don't even think he saw that or he would have said something about it but he may have been he may have seen that looking at this and, and thought maybe that happened to it so I'm gonna have to at least smooth this part of it off and uh, I'm just gonna have to add filler to it I can't grind all this out and open up a can of worms so I have a feeling he might be selling this thing soon anyway but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out with some pins and then I'm gonna feather it back and just fill it that's all I can do now all right that's all I'm gonna pull on this thing I just ran about 10 or 12 studs down the center of that scratch. I'm just eyeballing it. Right there on the end maybe a little high, but I'll have to tap that down if necessary. There's that wave at the bottom there that I need to get rid of if I can. Filler's just built up back here too thick. Thought about maybe when I get the bumper out of the way, just running a block through here and just cutting it down real quick with some 80. And I can try to level it off with that with the filler that's already there since I gotta prime this whole area anyway. That'll minimize what I gotta put on it. If I can block some of that down instead of filling that hole in. And I'm gonna cut these pins off, grind that smooth, and I'm gonna start feathering this all out with 80 so I can make myself a little area I gotta fill. I'm trying to stay away from this. I'm gonna cut these off and I'll be back when I'm ready for filler. Alright, it's basically ready for filler. I'm just going to use regular body filler here. It may take a couple applications, but I broke through this with the DH to see how thick the filler was and try to halfway take this area out with it. And then I took the block over it. I've got this area in here to fill, but this down here I'm just going to leave. I've got it blocked pretty flat, and it's got about four or five coats of body filler. You can see one, two, three, four at least. There's four. Well, three transitions, four layers. It's ridiculous. There's only one body shop in this town. And I'm pretty sure I know where he... He told me where he took it for the hail damage. I'm pretty sure he would have had it in the same place for this. And it's absolutely ridiculous. I expected the hail damage repair to be bad, which it is. Because they were rushing cars through there for about two years. We've never seen hail like that before. I may need to take a little bit more like uh, right in there out, but I'm going to block a little more and get, get this flat in here. Then I'm going to come back over with my filler right there. It won't be done. All right, got it ready to prime. I'm going to put a little epoxy over it first, and I'll put three coats. I'm not going to go all the way to the edge of my paper because I don't want a hard edge in it. But I'm going to give it a good three coats after the epoxy. I've got this area blocked out really well that was already filled. It was way too thick there. I don't know what they were thinking. But, uh... She'd be fine now. I've got the stripe off already. I'm going to try to find some of that exact stripe so I don't have to take it off the whole truck, but I may end up having to do that. I left it everywhere else just in case I can find it. I'll be back in just a minute to get some primer on this thing. All right, it's ready for epoxy. Got it wiped down with Final Clean. I'm going to tack it one more time just so I don't trap any, anything in the, uh, in the primer that could be a problem. Uh, Give me one second to get this thing tacked off. I'll be right back to spray it. All right, I'm going to stay away from the edges of the paper. I'm just going to put it over the bare metal. This is mainly just for my just for my primer out here, just to cover it, keep the primer from getting off of it. But the epoxy is going to go just over the metal. I don't want to build up anything more than I have to out here. I'm trying to keep the primer contained so I can feather it out and not have to go too far that way. Since I got a blend within this panel.
All right, that's gonna sit for about an hour. I'll be back with the high bill of primer now. All right, here's the first coat. All right, that was pretty light. Let that flash for a good bit since it's over so much filler. And uh, I get at least two more coats. All right, I've got all the repair area blocked out. I still need to go around here with the DA, feather all this stuff into the original paint, into that 400 grit I put in it. <clears throat> After I get all that prepped, I'm gonna come down here and prep the bottom of the bumper. I think for now what I'm gonna do, unless I change my mind, I'm going to tape along, just back mask this corner, run a fine line, a uh, piece of fine line tape along this groove, and then down in here along this body line, all the way down, and just clear to right there. Could clear around this way and just burn it off the corner here, but uh, either way, I, I, may just, I may decide to do that. Just going to have to get this prepped and think about it, but either way, I'm going to tape through here and come down here or tape along here but if I do this whole corner I'm gonna have to tape along uh, somewhere back in here too because then I'd have a tape tape line here to, to be able to run around this way um, I'll decide later on and be back when I'm ready to paint this thing I'm just gonna try to get this sanded and, and masked off in the next probably next hour or so and get it painted today here's another example of poor work this part up here that's exposed there's body filler right there and bare metal that's been rusting. And you can see on this side, it's that's exposed. You can see that from inside the bed. So I'm going to have to sand that through and actually make sure I cover it this time so it doesn't look like I did it. That rail cap only goes to right here, so I want to make sure I get behind this edge. And it's a little hard to see, but it's right in there. There's body filler still in there. Didn't even get primed. I'm about done with this thing. I got the 1000 grit all through here, down here. I got to come through here and do this by hand where they've got this transition in it. I'm going to have to try to cover that with the pinstripe. I can't strip this or I'll end up having to paint the whole whole panel and into the door. The door's the same way. They taped it all along the door. They taped it along here, painted just from here up when they did the hail damage job. But, uh, I'm not going into that, so I'm going to scrub this real good, probably with a gray pad, and maybe get some scuff paste on it just to get down in there real good. I'll make sure I get plenty of adhesion promoter in there. This is uh, this is actually just guide coat in here, and we'll rub that off when I do that. This is a cut through, but I'm going to cover all this with silver. I'm trying to stay away from this corner back here by the tailgate, and uh, blend. Just get this covered, and we'll cover the bumper up and get this covered. Once once I get this covered, I'll start blending out this way. And I'll bring it down over the top edge of the bumper just so it matches. I'm going to finish uh, scrubbing this thing down. Get it masked off. Be back when I'm ready to paint it. All right, we're ready to paint here. Going to have to put some paper over the bumper just to get this uh, area here in silver. But right now I'm going through and I'm taking, I've got the fine line tape running through this body line. I'm taking this fiberglass pen and I'm just running right along that that corner and the edge of that tape all the way down to make sure I get good adhesion and go all the way down under the bumper and I'll come back and make sure that I've got it scuffed if I didn't if it didn't get close enough with the scuff pad earlier I'll come back and scuff another, another little bit right up next to it with the gray pad go ahead and get that done to <clears throat> <gonna> mask <clears throat> some tape right here and then drop some paper down over the bumper to start on this area then I'll pull this off when I get ready to blend I'm actually going to have to put the adhesion promoter everywhere first and then let that dry on the bumper so I can tape on it because I need that adhesion promoter down there so that when I go to do the blend it'll have something to land into that's wet. Not really wet but uh, something that's going to take some paint because that right there on the blend edge will just be dry paint on, on cured clear and it won't stick. So I'm going to go ahead and put the adhesion promoter over the whole area, probably even the primer uh, mostly. And then I'll wait five or ten minutes for that to dry and I can tape off the bumper, just tape it real lightly. And I'll get this colored and pull that off and then finish the blend uh, in both directions, to the right and down.
Gotta get a little bit more. I'll be back with when I get ready to take that off, put some color on. Okay, I've got it masked off. Got uh, blue painter's tape on there. That way it's low tack and it won't stick as hard as this yellow tape will uh, to that adhesion promoter. I'm gonna go ahead and re-tack it. I've got the silver mixed up. And I'm using, uh, it's about 84, 85 in here. I'm using the uh, 80 to 90 degree reducer. And when you're doing a blend like this, you wanna use either the, uh, depends on the size of the, the area, but you don't wanna go with a fast reducer. You wanna, wanna slow it down a little bit, enough for it to be able to soak in and have time to settle onto the uh, adhesion promoter without drying on the surface of it. So we'll go ahead and get this in the gun. Be right back to spray it on. Alright, I'll put on a couple more coats so I can blend it out and then I'll probably thin it like I did on that uh, Tacoma the other day. Be back a little bit for some clear. I'll show you the blend before that. Here's a quick shot of the blend before I get the clear mixed up. I wouldn't say it's as good as the Tacoma I just did, but it's, it's pretty good. You can still see a little bit of it if you're looking for it. But this is a lot coarser metallic actually than that other one was, so... I think that's about as good as I'm going to get it. We'll go ahead and get the uh, clear mixed up. Be right back to shoot that. All right, on the first cut, I'm not going to go quite all the way up to that uh, little little spot repair I'm doing at the roof line. I'm going to stop a little bit short, and on the next coat, I'll extend a little bit further, and I'll come back and thin the clear a little bit and finish it on out and blend it in. And tomorrow, I'll just buff it out and blend them together with the, with the polisher. I'll be back when I'm done. All right, here it is. In about 10 minutes. It's body work. I got most of that out down there at the bottom. You can see a little right there. It's as flat as I could get it without going into too much trouble. Blend is decent. I tried to blend it over into this into this valley a little bit so that it would sort of be a natural color shift anyway. Not be noticeable. I got a little bit of paint and clear back behind there where that rust was. Sanded out the all the rust off and threw some paint on it. Right in here I've got the clear thinned. Just fogged it out into this area. I'll come back and I'll Wet sand this out with some 2000. Then I'll get my three inch random polisher and 
hit that and just polish it out, it'll go away. Later tonight, when the stuff's set up enough, I'll get to, go ahead and get the top rail put on, the, the tail light back in, and the black step pad. I took it off just to make sure I didn't get any silver paint on it if my tape happened to lift. Went ahead and pulled my fine line tape off right after I sprayed it and just stuck it back here. So I've got a I've got a line down in this valley of this body line, but that natural shadow there sort of hides it. And uh, I'll get the running board back on. I took that off in one of the brackets so I could get underneath there properly. I'll get that put back on. All I'll have left tomorrow to do is possibly denib it, and I need to stripe it. But the stripe that I ordered, you can't get this from 3M. I found it locally. They were going to have to order it and it didn't make it in this week, so I'm going to have to go ahead and either tell him to bring it back or just leave it here for a few more days. Just let him decide what to do. But after we get the uh, truck back together, it may ha head on out of here. Uh, but if I can get it get it striped uh, in the next few days, if he wants to leave it, then I'll throw that in with the video here. Um, we'll see. Hopefully they'll get that thing in soon and I'll be done with this one. All right, it's been about two weeks since this thing left, but he just brought it back for the stripe. I had to had to order it. 3M doesn't doesn't offer this pattern. This is a little worn on this one, but uh, it's the closest thing I could get to it. Got it installed a second ago. Wraps around to the tailgate. Got it aligned there. Didn't have to buff anything on this one. He just dropped it off maybe an hour ago. I just got had it stuck on there. And here's the here's the blend into the uh, original paint here. Well, this has actually been repaired before, but the paint that was there when I when I got it. I just wet sanded all that with 2000, just to take the fuzz out. Polished it with the three inch polisher and it's completely gone. Next video will be the uh, 2011 Odyssey I've got. Uh, got done already, but it's hadn't been uploaded. That's all for this one. See you guys on the next one.